This is an unboxing and review of the Razer Core. So this is actually my second uh, core that I've received from Razer. It, it comes in a, a bigger box with this box in it. Um, and obviously Razer comes inside this. <clears throat> it comes with a much bigger, uh, I'm sorry, Razer sent me two. Um, I actually got it, I was one of the first people, the first waves of people to get it. Um, and I had some issues with it, which I will discuss a little bit later, um, but I dealt with them for a while, I discussed it, gave my feedback, and uh, which Razer was very appreciative of, at least they seemed that way. Um, and uh, I, was on a, I was a rare case of having, for having issues. Um, it was mostly with the Ethernet port, but they verified it, and we uh, went, went ahead and R got an RMA and swapped it out for this one. Um, so, open it up here, you can see you got the razor core here in this nice plastic or whatever the material this is that covers it. It's pretty thick, it feels almost kind of slightly rubbery. Um, this, you got your nice padding here, your box with your power cable. Uh, let's see, your power cable here, and it's just some documentation. You know, you have to make sure you follow the, oh, and more stickers. Um, the, you make sure that you follow the instructions for your device to make sure everything's updated properly. Uh, you, get a, you get a pretty short USB 3 cable. I'm just kind of disappointed with how short it was, but I understand because the longer it is, uh, the less um, speed you get for your data transfer. But if I can get a, a whole thing in shot, it's only this long, which, I mean, when you look at my hand, my hand covers, you know, a good portion of it. A, f a little over what a fourth of that so this is not long um, you're gonna have your device pretty close to it uh, and if you have a setup like I do that could be a problem um, but that's you know it, I, I'll make it work so that's all that's in the box nothing much just the basics now for the razor core the core itself we've got Let's go ahead and all right. So this is the Razor Core. Um, it's got a nice logo here. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. So you have you have the logo here. This is the back end of it. Um, you, you probably don't want to even have that sh facing you unless you just don't like the lights. Um, the GPU goes in, uh, goes inside. You can see it through this mesh here. Um, around the outside, we have just a, a nice solid aluminum. Um, I think it's aluminum. Could be, honestly, I'm not good with my metals <laughs> um, just by looking or touching, but it's, it's heavy. It is very heavy, uh, very durable, very premium feeling device. Um, Around front, you have a. Uh, it looks like. It honestly, it looks like it's a vented system, but it's not. The front is not vented. Uh, there, it's just made to look that way to keep the aesthetics. But it, it does have a, an RGB light that synchronizes through the whole thing, um, which is very cool. It looks very. It's, it kind of has a nice soft glow. Uh, can do everything with, that the Synapse can do, or within the Synapse software, it's controlled. Um, so things like the wave or the, the pulsing or whatever you end up choosing to do. Around top you have, an act, this is vented up here. Um, this is where m most of the heat comes out uh, for, from the graphics card. That's, so if, if you wanna keep it nice um, and vented, it's good to have your uh, above it uh, well vented because in, in my first environment, like when I first set it up, I put it kind of under a shelf or in, in a shelf um, and I, I can do a desk tour to kind of give you more context on that. But <clears throat> long story short, the the top was about right here, and that blocked off. You know, there, there was it got a lot. Of, it got really hot under there. Um, even though it's it's wide open, the air the hot air trapped right underneath the, um, this this shelf, and it it I did notice uh, some. Uh, it, it wasn't really 
it wasn't bad, it just, it did get a lot hotter than I wanted to. And I, I wanted to have a bit more ventilation. Um, I don't do a lot of hardcore gaming, so I wasn't really worried about performance being totally maxed out or anything. Um, I, yeah, I don't do any 4K gaming or anything like that, so. Uh, now, bottom just has some, some stickies here, uh, or just some, some grips, rubber grips that are, that are nice. Um, just to keep it in one place. So this, this is kind of where the, the important part is. You have your four USB 3.0, uh, it's a USB 3.0 hub, but you have your, the ports here, you have your ethernet jack. This is the USB 3, or uh, USB-C um, Thunderbolt 3 port. This is where this guy goes in and connects to your laptop. Um, this is a, an open, I don't want to say open source, but a, a, uh, a standard, industry standard platform. Um, it's not razor specific what I, is what I mean. Uh, so any laptop um, manufacturer can include that support in their product and they will be able to use this core. So I'll be able to use this core uh, on any of those products if for some reason I choose not to go with a, um, or stay with a razor laptop product. Um, I, I, don't, I don't see why I wouldn't, but you know, that's, that's for the future to decide. So and then you just have your power jack. So um, this, for the, for the Razor Blade Stealth, this provides power and the, all the data transfer and everything related to this. Um, for the Razor Blade 2016, the more powerful one, um, it does not provide power. So if you're looking for a docking solution, uh, this is a great docking solution as far as giving it that, the, you know, all of these peripherals as well as the GPU power, um, a desktop GPU power for the Razor Blade 16, but, it does not provide power, so you still have to have a power um, power brick and cable for that, when, yeah, even when you're docked. Um, so to, it's really simple here just to, let's get that set up here. There's just a little handle there to open it up and you just pull it open real easy. No, no tools or anything required. Um, you just have this little sticker here that says to remove before use. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Obviously, you can't get a graphics card in there with this huge foam block. So we just stick that there, move that to the side. So this is the the insides here. Um, the first unit I had to discuss that had uh, issues with this port right here. Um, there we go. The Ethernet. Whenever that was connected, the data transfers would just stop. We'd, it would hiccup all the time. It didn't have a, st a steady, um, a steady uh, keyboard or it, it had like, so I don't know if you've ever used like a console for a VM, um, but if you, you know, the, that latency lag where if you type in like service or something uh, or a, a password into the VM through the console, it uh, has like a whole bunch of letters. So it'll say like service and then have a whole bunch of C's. Uh, as if you just held the keyboard down, or sometimes just doesn't say doesn't do anything. That's that's what I was experiencing, and that's obviously not good for gaming, <laughs> especially if the mouse is stuttering and it was just it was an, a mess. Um, and when I first got it, it wouldn't even be registered by the by the computer. Um, it, it wouldn't even turn on. And so what I had to do was come over here to the power, so that this this external power routes up through here and into the actual power supply, which is right here. So I had to unplug that and plug it back in. I had to unplug this right here and plug it back in. Um, just just do, do a little finicky playing around with some of the ports and that finally got it to turn on. Now it does have a fan. Uh, looks like it has two fans. Ooh, hello. Two fans on the bottom under here that pull in, in air from the bottom of here. Um, as actually three. I didn't even notice the third one. That goes, looks like it goes into the graphics card. So this pulls in, or uh, the power supply. So this pulls into the power supply. Here's the LED strip. The air goes through the power supply and out this vent right here. Um, this air is good for, the, for these, the PCB here, the riser card up here, and then it comes out through, through the graphics card um, and then out the top of the unit here. So you, all you do is you just Plug in your, your graphics card, use the, the connector pins, and shove it back in and it's good to go. 
Um, here, here are the, LED, the RGB LEDs that make it look cool and light up. So that's, that's the experience I had. Um, at first, I, I could not recommend this because of its issues it had with latency uh, on, I, I, I'm assuming it was the, the, the USB jack, or not the USB, the, uh, I thought it was the USB controller in general, um, but the whole time I did have ethernet plugged in, and so I think we narrowed it down to being mostly an ethernet problem. Um, either way, apparently it was rare, and I will probably do another video where I test out what I really think of this, um, this particular unit and how it works out for me and how I end up using it. Uh, but in the meantime, the performance was great. I got pretty much full desktop capability. Um, the, the Stealth itself cannot currently run. So I'm using the Razor Blade Stealth. I'll do a review of that later. Um, it cannot currently run uh, some of the more heavy games at full, uh, full settings, things like uh, Rift or uh, Warframe are two games that I, I play. They're free to play, um, lots of fun, they look good, but a dual core integrated graphics is just not enough to really run them at a good frame rate when a lot of things are going on. But when I had this thing plugged in, it did an awesome job. The only thing that you, have to do, you do have to be concerned about is if you have any CPU intensive tasks, things like, for example, um, if you're using light, oh, what's it called? Uh, Lightworks or Blender to render videos, you're not going to be able to scrub through the timeline, even though Blender d will leverage or Lightworks, I'm pretty sure they, they will leverage CUDA acceleration, so this will help out the rendering of your video, but scrubbing through your timeline and, and the actual process of editing your video will be torturous because it is CPU intensive, so this won't solve that problem. Um, but otherwise, this is the dream. This is, this is what I wanted. I, I wanted a portable a very, an ultra portable laptop that I can come walk up to and just plug in and 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 have have all of my desktop peripherals already attached and have the graphics power uh, that that I, that I want to use so that's this is the dream um, I, I will be doing more videos like this so let me know what you think uh, this is just a quick unboxing and you know what my experience was with it and I will get more into um, you know the setup and what it looks like and how how it's functioning uh, with the laptop and maybe my workflow with it um, in a future video uh, and I, I'll also stay tuned I will be having a long-term review for the razor blade stealth I've been using that since it first came out um, I was among some of the first to get it uh, as far as the batch I'm uh, one of its first shipment so I've been using it for a while. That's the kind of reviews you'll get on this channel. You're not going to get a lot of, um, you know, first time I ever opened it and I'll never, you know, I have no idea what the performance is like, nothing. You know, I, I don't like that. I, the videos I want to see are from people who know what they're talking about because they've used the product and that's what I deliver. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please subscribe, look out for more videos like this related to the Razer Core, Razer Blade Stealth, and then other technologies. Uh, I'm trying to get a server working, so I'll, um, and, and virtual uh, virtualization server up and running so that'll be interesting I hope if you guys are interested in that I'll, I'll probably have a series on that but in the meantime thank you very much for watching uh, like the video comment below uh, on what you want to see and subscribe to the video uh, if you want to be notified for future videos I hope you do